keep on battling on in the World Cup qualifying campaign over in Europe. Who's in command? Who's going home? We'll take a little look next. That's right, folks. Bad once again with another prediction video today. We're looking forward to what is it? Match day number five point two over in the World Cup qualifying campaign over in Europe, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, wait a minute. Smash your subscribe and get your bang up to date with all things World Cup qualifying campaign, black and rose related, world football related. We get it all here under one rooskies. I'm in a bloody car, but of course I'm going to try and keep you up to date with all the World Cup qualifying picks coming at you from Europe. We'll get to that in one second. Of course, big big shout out to the VIPs. They are the pay a tree. I do appreciate loving. Thank you for your support. If you want to help us out, check out those links down below. I'm in a bloody car. I'm in a bloody car. Let's get into it. Of course, look back at the games that uh, that were involved with these teams. Of course, this pack of the draw. Um, is this right? I have no. I have no. I really have no idea. Um, the the title is wrong. I think it should be match day four point two. I think. But anyway, we're gonna have a look at it. All righty then, let's get into it then, shall we? Of course, take a look back at, of course, the last round of matches. Let's gear up and have a look at it. Ireland took on uh, Azerbaijan, that's right. Could only master the draw in the end. Now I went with a 2 to win myself for Ireland. But I was wrong. Meanwhile, Serbia against Luxembourg. Big win for Serbia. 4-1 win in the end for them. 3-0 was my pick. Not too shabby there. Finland also got themselves a good old win against Kazakhstan. 1-0. I went with a 2-0 myself. Uh, Ukraine and, and Fran the Frenchies uh, mastered a draw. 1-1 in the end. I went with a 2-1 win for the Frenchies, but I got it wrong. And the Danes only mustered a 1-0 win of course over the pharaohs three near win was my pick but of course not that not uh not uh as fortuitous as that israel got a big home win as well against austria 5-2 to turn that group on its head uh scotland also getting a win one nil over moldova I actually one of the two to win myself uh latvia lost to norway at home we all anticipated that didn't we two to win in the end gibraltar did lose to turkey three nil four nil was my pick kick it on further the dutchies beat montenegro four nil as well on the road, I won with a 3 1 win myself on that one. And uh, Cyprus uh, against Russia ended up as a 2 win for the Rushkies. Over the 2 2 draw myself. And then into the final two, Slovenia against Malta ended up as a 1 0 win for Malta. Uh, actually, one of the 1 0 win myself. And of course, Slovakia did lose to Croatia 1 0. Actually, one of the 2 0 win myself on that one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it uh, stood for this week and this week alone. Oh, it's coming at you in pretty tip top. I don't know how many I got myself, but of course, uh, the King Ping. At the top of the table for this weekend, this week alone is Winky. Wow, wow, we got to give him a round of applause. Shira Don's up there with 11 as well. Alex Weller, Paul Burden, Lasga, Ankara Kosovic, Dursibne, uh, Iman Hussein, James BCC are great. Game and Charlie, FCO back, LG and Cal, Vingo, Vitamin and Cynic, and Bonnie L all got themselves 10 as well. But the overall leaderboard, of course, from way back when, looks like this. We have a, do we have an outright leader? We do have an outright leader, and it is Costas K. And we're going to give it to you right here, right now. Uh, Master Fighters right behind him with the same five. Of course, Hans Worst up there with John. Lou, James BCFC are great. They're in the bronze medal position. Of course, still got a lot of points on the offering. So get into it, of course, for the next round of matches. If you want to get involved with the next round of matches, here it is. Of course, get involved with the link right there. Of course, it should be match day number 5.2 or something like that. I don't even know. But anyways, WC22 Euro, of course. Let's take a look at the tables then, shall we? Of course, Group A looks like this. Serbia, Portugal and Command at the moment in Group A, all on the same amount of points. Luxembourg are uh, doing okay as well, in between themselves and Ireland. Uh, meanwhile, Sweden are in Command over in Group B, of course, beating Spain last round. They've got two-point cushioned over Spain with a game in hand as well. Uh, Italy, of course, Euro winners. Uh, the linear world champions of the stage, of course, uh, ahead of Switzerland by four points. Who have two games in hand. Win both of those, they could go top. French, of course, are in command over in Group D. They've played two games more than Finland, uh, of course. So they've they've uh, they've got uh, work to do uh, to make sure that they go through. Because, of course, if uh, Finland win both of those, they go top of that group as well. Group E has Belgium in command. Uh, uh, three points clear over the Czechs. The Welsh have a couple of games in hand and win those. They could go second. Denmark are in Commander at the moment over in Group F, 100% uh, record for them. Israel is second though. Scotland are in the mix there. Of course, if they win next round, they could go uh, up to as high as second as well. Uh, into Group G, sees Turkey in command at the moment. Uh, Netherlands and Norway all competing for that spot, and it could go down to the wire. Over in Group H, it's Russia and Croatia at the moment. Slovenia not too far away either. In Group I, England are in command over there. Of course, 12 points clear, 100% success rate so far. Poland and Hungary duking out for second spot. And then finally, Group J has Armenia at the moment. Of course, with 10 points. Uh, Germany. 
Germany, of course, in second there with nine. And then, of course, the chasing bloody pack. So here we go then, shall we? Take a little look at the next round of matches. We're going to jump uh, hopefully straight in the deep end and have a little look at it. Uh, if, I, if I can get my bloody thing, my jiggity bobbity uh, switched on, we'll go in and have a little look at Azerbaijan. So here we go. Alrighty then, boys, because we're going to jump in the deep end and take a little look at Azerbaijan taking on Portugal. That's right, this coming, uh, whatever this day is, it's going to be the 7th of September over in Group A, of course, at the Baku Olympia Stadion. That's right, of course, played the seven times since 1999. Six wins for Portugal, just one draw. Of course, the biggest win for Portugal over Azerbaijan was a 7 0 win. They're coming to this on back to back wins as well. Heading into this, though, on the flip side, Azerbaijan just 25% form, just one win in six. Last time they played in Azerbaijan was just a 2 0 win. They've actually won three on the bounce, actually haven't scored, haven't conceded a goal. Goal against Azerbaijan, stretching all the way back to 1999. Of course, uh, Azerbaijan coming to this on the back of that draw against Ireland. Meanwhile, Portugal coming to this on the back of that win against Qatar in a bit of a friendly. That's right. Of course, the bookies' odds on this one will go with uh, Portugal on this one. 7 1 on for the victory. 40 to 1 is your host. 7 1 is your draw. That is outright. Going to go with the 3 0 win for Portuguese. Take the win, of course. And of course, a bit of ascendancy back out in their respective group. Next up, of course, we have Ireland. Uh, they're going to be taking on, of course, Serbia. That's right. They'll need a win on this one. Not been impressed with Ireland recently since the change of manager of course uh played each other six times 2008 they've yet to beat sir because they've won three and there's been three draws as well of course heading into this island just one win at the past six games 42 percent form for them meanwhile back-to-back -back wins for serbia are coming into this. the biggest win over ireland was a 3-2 win uh last time played each other in ireland was a 1-0 win for serbia of course um so it's been back-to-back -back wins for serbia over ireland stretching all the way back to 2016 Ireland coming to this on the back of that draw against uh, uh azerbaijan they also had a narrow loss against portugal of course serbia coming to this on the back of the win against luxembourg they also played Qatar at the start of the month it looks like a look at the odds on this one oh, what do we have on the odds on this one we'll have a little look at it of course coming at you uh, Ireland are 12 to 5 for the victory 23 to 20 is your Serbia and I've got 11 to 5 on the draw I've gone with a 2-2 draw on this one which of course could go either way and I don't think it's going to be good. put Ireland in a, bit, in a good position really I um, mean well, Bosnia Herzegovina taking on of course Kazakhstan over in group D uh, they played each other zero times to be the first occasions that these two sides have locked horns uh, Kazakhstan coming to us without a win in the last six meanwhile Bosnia coming to us with just one win of the past six games. They come to us on the back of that win that was just against Kuwait. Last round, a bit of a friendly. Meanwhile, Kazakhstan coming to us. Uh, picking up a draw against Ukraine. Also a... Um uh, a, a, a narrow defeat to Finland last round. This must be match number six. Uh, I, 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 I shit you not. Uh, so uh, on this, the odds on this one. What do we have on the odds on this one? I've got uh, Kazakhstan eleven to one for the victory. Seven to two on is your Bosnia. And 40, 41 is your draw. Bosnia are, are the favourites. They are the hosts. I'm going to give it to them two 0 in the end. France against Finland, of course, in the battle of this group. Of course, currently uh, a win for Finland could put them in the ascendancy over in Group D. Played each other three times since 2012. Two was for France, one was for Finland. No draws. That one only win for Finland. Two. Nil win the biggest win for France over Finland was a 3 0 win. Last time I played each other, of course, was a 2 0 win for Finland. It was a friendly back in November 2020. Coming into this, though, France just one win out of the past six games, 50% form, of course. So the Finns come into this two wins in the past six games, 42% form. Last, uh, last time around, the French are actually coming to this on back to back draws, of course, drawing with uh, Bosnia, drawing with Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Finns come into this on the back of a win against Kazakhstan. They also played Wales and it also ended up as a, uh, was it a win, uh, but they didn't lose that game. They didn't lose. So back to back games without conceding a goal, though. For, uh, of course, for Finland. Uh, Finland, of course, uh, odds 40 to 1 for the victory, 6 to 1 on is your French, of course, 6 to 1 is your draw on this one. The French are favourites, going over the 3 0 with myself on that. Uh, Denmark taking, of course, Israel, of course. Uh, big win for Israel last round. Uh, of course, Denmark are running away with it uh, at the moment over in their respective group, which is Group F. Played each other four times since 1999, four wins out of four for the Danes. The biggest win was a 5 0 win over Israel. Of course, coming into this, five wins in the past six games, 83% form for the Danes, 75% form for Israel. Of course, just one defeat in the past six for them as well. Last time I played each other in uh, Denmark. Mark was a 3 0 win for the Danes. They've actually played against them the last four occasions. I have yet to concede a goal. Uh, the Danes coming to us on the back of uh, wins against Scotland, wins against the Pharaohs, back to back games without conceding a goal as well. Israel uh, coming into this on the back of wins against uh, a win against Austria and a big win against the Pharaohs as well. So they're looking pretty good for themselves at the moment. So not too shabby for the Israel. You don't write them out just yet. Uh, of course, the odds on this one we have 4 1 on is your, your Danes, 9 1 is your Israel, and 70 4 is the draw. I've gone with a 3 1 win for the Danes on this one to take it to the house so we have Faroe Islands taking of course Moldova over in the same is it the same group Group F uh, they've played each other one time since 2021 it's been a draw uh, of course both sides come into in identical form 17% form just one win in six games of course the last time around was that 1-1 draw back in uh, March 2021 in the World Cup qualifying campaign earlier in this in the in the thing uh, in the thingy bit Bob uh, meanwhile heading into this Faroe's back to back games without scoring a goal of course playing the Danes and, and Israel of course losing both of those Moldova coming to this also back to back defeats and also back to back
back-to-back games without uh, scoring a goal. Losing to Scotland, losing to Austria as well, uh, 1-0 and 2-0 respectively. Of course, heading into this one, what do you check on this one? The odds, 5-4 is your Ferris, 9-4 is your Moldova, 11-5 is your draw. I've gone with the 1-1 draw on this one. I can't separate the two sides. I really can't. Kicking off further, though, it's Austria up against the Scots. Of course, it's a must-win game, I think, for the Scots if they want to be considered for at least runners-up in this group. Uh, Pleasure the same time since 1954. Three wins for Austria, one for Scotland and three draws. The biggest win for Austria was a 2-0 a win. The biggest win the other way was a 1-0 win. Scotland coming to just one win in five, of course, a 42% form of the last six games. Meanwhile, Austria winning three, losing three of the last six. That's 50% form right now. Of course, last time around, they played each other in Scotland was a 2-2 draw. Last time they played each other in Austria was a 1-0 win for Scotland. Of course, they actually uh, go against Austria three occasions and they're unbeaten heading into this one. Of course, 1-1 one, one lost, 1-1 one, one, uh, drew two. Uh, the Scots coming into this. They will be your underdogs, 50 to 4 for the victory. 43 on is your Austria, 5 to 2 is your draw. I've gone with the 2 1 win for Austria on this one to take it to the house. Montenegro taking on Latvia. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Of course, played each other three times in 2012. Two wins for Montenegro, nothing for Latvia, one draw. Of course, the biggest win for Montenegro over Latvia was a 2 0 win. They come into this on 50, uh, 33% form without a win in five. Meanwhile, Latvia coming into this with two wins at the past six games, 42% form. Last time played each other, of course, in Montenegro was a, 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 a 1 1 draw back in uh, uh, October 2020. Of course, Montenegro is so far this uh, international break. Drawn with Turkey, lost to the Netherlands. The Latvians are coming to us on the back of a loss to Norway. Also, they did beat Gibraltar not too long ago as well, so not too shabby for them. Uh, look at the situation in the bookies on this one. We have Montenegro 11-4 on for the victory, 50-4. A 52 is your Latvia, 7-2 is your draw. I've gone the 2-0 win for Montenegro to take it to the bank. The Dutchies will take it the Turkish, of course, for the Battle of Supremacy over in Group G. A pleasure of six times since 2010. Three wins for the Dutch, two wins for the Turks, and of course, one draw. The biggest win for Turkey Turkey. It was a 3 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 2 0 win. The Dutch is coming into 75% form. Meanwhile, the Turks come into 42% form, winning two times at the past six times. Uh, of course, the last time around at, uh, over in the Dutchlands was a 1 1 draw back in uh, March 2015. In fact, the Turkish are unbeaten against the Dutchies over the last three matches, picking up back to back wins in Turkey. Of course, looking for a three peat right here, right now. Turkey come into this on the back of uh, wins against Gibraltar and a draw against Montenegro. Meanwhile, the Dutch is coming into this on the back of a win against uh, Montenegro and, of course, a draw against Norway. Uh, of course, you cannot separate those sides for the moment. A look at the situation in the old bookies we have. Uh, what do we have on this? Uh, 10 to 3 on is your the Dutchies. 8 to 1 is your Turkey. 9 to 2 is your draw. I've gone with the Dutch on this one to, to, to give ourselves a big old win. Kicking off forward it is Norway. It is Gibraltar. Of course, it's going to be one way traffic, I am sure. Over in Norway. Played each other one time since 2021, and it was a 3 0 win for the, for the Norwegians, and that was back in uh, March 2021, of course. Coming into this, the, the Norwegians just lost once at the past five, 58 percent form for them. Meanwhile, Gibraltar coming to this, just one defeat. Uh, sorry, sorry, scrap that. They, they've won one draw at the past six, uh, losing the rest, 8 percent form for them. Of course, coming into this, Norway have beaten Latvia, they've drawn with the Dutchies. The Gibraltans have lost to Turkey, they also lost to Latvia as well. So they are the massively unfavoured, unfancy team on this one. Uh, they come into this, I think it's 1,000 to 1. Nope, it's 100 to 1. 100 to 1 on for. Norway. They are red hot favourites. 25 to 1 is the draw. 50 to 1 is your Gibraltar on this. Going to go with a 4 0 win for the Norwegians. Haaland, I'm sure, will score at least one, maybe even two on that one. Croatia, I guess Slovenia. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Of course, played each other six times since 1995. Four wins for Croatia, one win for Slovenia, one draw. The biggest win for Croatia was a 2 0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 1 0 win. Last time played each other over in uh, Croatia was a, uh, what was it, a 1 1 draw back in uh, November 2003. Goodness gracious me. Uh, the previous uh, occasions that these two sides have played each other have been all in Slovenia. Uh, and of course, not the favourable results. But last time, though, was a win for Slovenia back in March 2021. Of course, Slovenia uh, come into this on the back of a win against Malta, a draw against Slovakia. Croatia come into this on the back of a win against Slovakia and a, and a draw against Russia. Yet to concede a goal over the past couple of games heading into this one. Do we do have odds on this one? We do have odds. Uh, they are. 5-3 on is your Croatia. 11-4 is your draw. 19-4 is your uh, Slovenia on this one. 2 on for the hosts for me on this one. Final two now. Russia taking on Malta. That's right. Over in uh, the same group as that Croatian game. Uh, which according to my knowledge is Group H played each other one time 2021 of course one win out of one for Russia of course that one and only win was a 3-1 win and they come into this 58% form winning three and losing two of course Malta come into this on the back of one win in the past six games of course that was against Cyprus meanwhile the last time they played each other the only time they played each other of course was a, in Malta was a 3-1 win for Russia of course Russia have played Cyprus they've drew they uh, they won they beat they drew with Croatia as well back to back games without conceding a goal Malta come into this on the back of a narrow loss to Slovenia they also beat Cyprus 3-0 over in Malta uh, the odds on 
this one. I'm sure Russia will be your favourites. I'm sure uh, they are 8 1 on for the victory. 11 1 is your long shots. That's Malta 7 1 is your draw. 3 0 win for Russia on this one to take it to the back. And then finally, it is Slovakia against Cyprus. It's the game of the day. That's right. For these two sides, of course, uh, they're also in their respective group. That is Group H. Played each other five times in 2003. Three wins for Slovakia, one win for Cyprus, and one draw. The biggest win for Slovakia over Cyprus was a 6 1 win. The biggest win the other way was a 2 1 win. So a 3 2 win. Uh, Cyprus coming to just one win and six, of course. Meanwhile, Slovakia also one win and six. 33% form, of course. Last time around over in Slovakia uh, was a 6 1 win for Slovakia back in uh, uh, September 2006. Slovakia's uh, run in this international break. I've seen them narrowly lose to Croatia. Also picked up a draw against Slovenia. Cyprus, though, uh, they come into this on the back of a loss to Russia and a loss to Malta. Back to back games without scoring a goal. I do have odds on this one as well. I'm going to give you the odds uh, to wrap this baby up. It is 5 to 2 on for Slovakia. 52 is your away win. 10 to 3 is your draw on this. Going to go with a 2 1 win for Slovakia at home to take to the bank and of course three points in the bag. That's my situation for me over in this match day. Be sure to give the video a love and smash your thumbs up. Of course, make sure you get your picks in using the savvy code uh, Cutley4 slash WC22 uh, Euro, boys and girls. That is it. That is it. Be sure to give the video a love and I do appreciate the love. Of course, thanks for the support. Smash the old subscribe. Check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. Until then, we're done.